Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid 100% Speedrun on our trip to Lower North Fair today. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, thankfully we only have to go through this place one time. Now be careful you don't get too much of a running start uh, for this. Uh, like that was too much. Um, or else you'll end up hitting one of these fire pillars on your way over. Um, but if you just keep on going, you won't hit anything and you go straight through. But, like I said, if you go too fast, you'll end up running into one of them. And this is nothing but good. Alright, don't go down into that lava. You'll only get hurt. Instead, come over to the side and... Power bomb your way up into this guy's hands. And he... Lowers the lava. Ah. Thank you, Chozo. We appreciate it. I'd just like you to hurry up. Eh, that wasn't quite enough. Okay. So anyway, power bomb through all them real quick, and then uh, get to the rest of this room. And look at that, a very tempting uh, uh, missile power up. Go ahead and use your uh, jump ball, because there's some gravity blocks down there that you're going to hit. Uh, or a space jump across, either way, it doesn't matter. Alright, and now, oh, pff, shoot. We got another Chozo, or Chorizo statue, whatever you want to call him. Now, the trick to him is missiles, he, uh, he dodges, super missiles, he uh, grabs and throws back at you. So, the easiest thing to do is shoot him with the charged plasma, because sometimes you can actually hit him twice with it, um, and then defeats him pretty quick. You just stand there right in front of him, he usually won't jump over you. And you just keep on shooting him straight up. And let's get our health back here. Now, there is a secret up here. As you can see, it looks like there's a uh, kind of a rather weird indentation there. Yeah, that's that's there for a reason. Let's go ahead and ask the power bomb. And oh, and we got a super missile. So guess what, folks? That's all of them. We have every super missile in the game. Da, 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 da. We're a third of the way there. Well, a fourth if you want to count like energy tanks and stuff like that. But and there's the screw attack. Enemies beware! Now, whenever you do a space jump or a uh, somersault jump, there uh, you've got this lovely green aura about you that uh, is very, very destructive to anything you touch, as evidenced here. Goes right through these guys like butter. Now, if for some reason um, you're low on super missiles or something like that, these guys love to drop super missiles for you. So uh, feel free to go ahead and fill up right here. Um, but uh, otherwise, uh, not a big deal. And move on through the uh, through the room here. Nothing in here. Just keep on moving through. And then uh, this room here, you just want to jump and uh, screw attack through these pillars at the crumbling sections. Hopefully before the lava rises too far. Alright, now this room, if you screw attack all the way up through, you'll be fine, because uh, not only does it make you uh, very devastating to these enemies, it also makes you uh, almost uh, impervious. Um, it makes you very indestructible to uh, the uh, the lasers and the beams and stuff that are thrown. But anyway, you want to shoot through the ceiling there, or power bomb, whichever you choose. Um, but you can't screw attack through it. And then you're going to shoot through the floor here. Now be careful because there's more gravity blocks and I messed that up. Let's rewind. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Um, we are going to... Wow, I can't get that right. So you know what we're going to do? Use our jump ball there. Okay. Now we're just going to go ahead and come down here. Wow. Something's wrong with me today, folks. I don't know what. So forgive me. Okay, bomb through here. And grab a set of missiles. I love that rewind feature. Helps stupid mistakes like that. Normally I wouldn't uh, do that. It's just that... Ah, this is a... Uh, it, 
it would take me a very long time to actually go through. Well, not a very long time, but longer than I'm, I'm willing to spend to go back up and around um, just to get back up here again. So, um, if you guys got uh, an issue with it, go ahead and let me know, and I'll uh, I'll make amends somehow. But uh, anyway, as you come through that door, you want to jump um, because. Uh, you can start space jumping right away. Didn't help me there because I lost the uh, the rhythm, but that's okay. Um, it just it's faster if you don't have to wait till you go all the way down to the bottom to start space jumping. And then you'll get to this uh, area here. You're just gonna want to shoot through the floor. Now watch out. These enemies can be pretty tough. They take a lot of hits to destroy, but. Uh, one thing you can do is screw attack. One hit, done. Look at that. You wonder how I lived my life without it. Okay. Let's power bomb through here. And let's set another one. Because we got to get through this door here. And I always forget about this one, but one more for good measure. And what that's going to do is it's going to raise this little platform so we don't have to try to land on those spikes. So, anyway. Uh, there's some big hopper guys coming through here. Don't worry too much about them. Um, you don't have to kill them for anything, but you want to lay a power bomb up here. Destroy that middle guy and that thing right there so we can get more power bombs. Alright. Let's jump back out through here. Ride the elevator. And we are getting very close to something very big. Alright. Now these guys, if you're the right distance, they will uh, do a little jump kick at you, at which point you can actually fire on them. Um, any other time, while they're silver, um, or that greenish color, whatever you want to call it, um, you cannot hurt them, so don't try. But it's easiest if you run underneath them when they jump at you, um, otherwise they're going to kick you in the head. And just a charge shot works. I mean, you can shoot them with missiles or whatever, but, eh, don't worry about it. This room, you just go ahead and screw attack your way through. And, um, I am going to go ahead and try to, uh, refill my life up here. And seeing as how this is usually, eh, you know what, let's give it a shot. Um, eh. Worst thing I'm gonna have to do is fast forward through this, but let's try to give this a shot. I've got a couple minutes. Alright, we're gonna head through here. Another one of these fantastic eye doors. And let's wish us luck. Oh, Ridley! No! Now, the pain in the butt about him is he flies around a lot, and he is very hard to keep track of, and uh, his attacks are very hard to avoid. So you basically just want to pump as many super missiles as you can into him. And if you hit him with all of them, he'll die, but um, you just got to be patient and keep on plugging him full of super missiles. And we can see he's turning red already. Uh, you don't want to fall into the lava, uh, or into the lava. That's not a good idea. Um, now, normally when he um, uh, dies, he's going to have to grab you to uh, actually die, go through his death animation. But if you kill him enough and avoid him enough, uh, he will actually blow up in midair and spare you the trouble of having to go through that uh, horrifying ordeal. All right, there we go, now he's dead. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me here on this episode of Let's Play Super Metroid 100% Speedrun. Uh, on the next episode, I will leave Lower Norfair and collect up any items that I may have missed. All right, thank you very much.